Two weeks ago, a mother was killed on Silver Lake sand dunes while watching vehicles race. Sunday night, tragedy almost struck again after a 12-year-old boy was buried under the sand when the hole he was digging collapsed. All of a sudden, a woman ran up to the screen door on the other side of the house and was all excited and said, hey, there's a boy buried in the sand. Josh Lobbs and his friend didn't think twice, grabbing shovels and made a beeline for the dune. My buddy Matt and I, I think we're the first two out here, and we just started digging. Within minutes, there were around 15 people helping dig, including a sheriff deputy who said he could hear the boy cry for help. I couldn't hear it, but he heard the boy calling um, from under the sand, um, but it was really hard to locate where. What made finding the boy harder, the dune was unstable. Sand kept falling wherever they dug. Someone uh, had a really bright idea, sort of an avalanche technique, I believe, and used the end of the shovel, a straight-handled shovel, to kind of poke down into the sand and hit the boy. Lobb says the boy was under about two feet of sand when he was rescued. He was unconscious, and they lifted him out, and my heart leapt, and I was also really uh, frightened. He was under for approximately about 14 minutes. Oceana Sheriff Department says the boy and his brother were digging on a side of a dune that was steep. On a side of a hill is not the safest uh, location to be uh, digging any hole uh, because there's just more, uh, uh, more inclined to collapse. Lobb says he's just glad that he and the other bystanders reacted as quickly as they did. It was organized chaos. People, it was everybody contributed. Lieutenant Hasty says the 12 year old boy is still at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids, and his last update was that he was in critical condition. In Silver Lake, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.